Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to renew Norton 360 with a product key. Norton 360 is an all-in-one computer protection and internet security software from Norton LifeLock. Check the link in the description section if you want to get it. I'm using Windows 10 here. So click on the system tree icon in the taskbar below. And then click on the Norton 360 icon. You will see this dialog box pop up. Down below, you'll see this renew link. But if you click it, it'll redirect you to a checkout page. Now, I'm assuming that you've already purchased Norton 360 and have it installed. If not, I'd recommend shopping around because you may get a better deal. For example, I found this deal on Amazon. You can check the link in the description section. Anyway, let's get back to the Norton 360 dialog box. Click this help link at the top. And it'll open another dialog box. Click on this enter product key link and it'll start connecting to the Norton server and bring you to another dialog box. Enter your product key into this box and then click Next. If you get an error message like this one, click on this link and you'll be prompted to log into your Norton LifeLock account. If you don't have an account, you can create one. And if you do, enter your login credentials and sign in. It'll redirect you and bring you to this page. Enter your product key into this box and click this button. And it'll bring you to the License and Service Agreement page. Click on Agree. And here you'll need to enter your credit card information for automatic renewal. Unfortunately, you cannot skip this, but you can cancel auto renewal later. You can check my tutorial, you'll find the link at the end of this video. Let me scroll down. Read the privacy statement and the terms of sale and check this box. Next, click on Start Subscription. It'll redirect you back to your Norton LifeLock account. Now, you may need to go back to this dialog box, re-enter your product key into this box, and click Next. You'll get a confirmation, and as you can see, my subscription is now active. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.